This is a bunker, the Sandhill Crane, and we're really happy with how he's coming along. He's uh, uh, adapting super well to this new prosthetic. So we use uh, blueberries to get the uh, antibiotic into him every day. He seems to love blueberries, which is a good Fraser Valley bird. So you take a blueberry, open it up. For a little while there, he's getting good at telling which blueberry had the the, the antibiotic in it. So I have to found out that I really have to hide it well in there. He takes really good positive steps with the prosthetic, which to me indicates that uh, it's really quite comfortable. The first problem was to figure out whether uh, he would adapt well to any kind of a prosthetic and we found out that early in the game we we actually fitted him with a, a, a wood dowel um, when he first woke up after the amputation and that allowed him to balance turns out they'd never done a sandhill crane or any crane before either but they've been very successful with uh, other animals uh, so orthopets um, sent us up a mold uh, we made a mold of the uh, stump uh, they made a, an outstanding prosthetic um, and Elizabeth uh, Melnick and I uh, put it on him uh, just before Christmas time. Uh, well, a principle of wildlife rehabilitation is that you release back to the site um, where they originally came from. Um, so we, we would like to talk with the Richmond, um, with the Country Meadows Golf Course in Richmond, and and, and see if they're interested in perhaps having them come back there.